Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you could customize the font colors on an order confirmation page. Now, this is very limited, so it's a bit of a bummer, but it's for security purposes. I'm gonna show you how you can do it and make adjustments to it so it looks like you want it to. Now, I'm here on my demo website and I'm gonna show you what we can do. So I'm gonna to go to shop. In here, I'm gonna click on the product and then go away and then I'm gonna click add to cart. So now it's adding and boom, I have something in my cart. So I'm gonna click on this. So when you come onto this page, you can't really customize any of this stuff, but you can adjust the color of the background, the font here, the color and the font actually like family and then the button, but you do it by adjusting it for your whole site. So let me show you how. Okay, so basically what we want to figure out is your site has 10 predefined styles. Well, to change the colors here, we got to figure out what predefined style is getting pulled here. Um, in my case, when I go to our agency website, I see that lightest one is getting pulled. When I'm in this demo website and I try to figure out what the design style is, it doesn't show me the previews of what this is. But I have a guess because the background is this like peach color. It's either light one or light two. And the fact that light two has this like other peach color as the title um, would mean that this would be that color. So I'm guessing it's light one. So you just gotta figure out which one it is here. And I'm gonna do that again so you can see the whole process. But what you wanna do is go to, go to your checkout page Make sure you're on it. Then you'll click design. Then you'll hit site styles. Then you'll hit colors. And then in here, my assumption is it's slice one. I'll click the pencil. And then I'm gonna try to find the button color and try to change that. So I'll try to find the main button color. So this is primary. And then I'll click here. And then let's change it to full black. Perfect. You can see it just changed here. So any adjustments I make to the font styles here, the button colors here, all of that is gonna affect this page. So if I go back up and then I change the heading text, I gotta find the right one, maybe it's medium. Let's say I change it to this blue, perfect. So it's heading large. So as soon as I change the text color, it changed here. So you could see that. You could come in here and choose any color you want. And if you needed to change the fonts, you'd be changing it site wide. And that's the other note I need to make here. If you change any of these settings for light one, it's gonna affect any other section that's marked as light one the same exact way. So it's good because it's consistent, but if you only want it to be on the shopping page, you just gotta consider that as you go through this process. Now, let's talk about fonts. So if I go to fonts, here it's pulling pop-ins for the fonts. So if I switch the fonts here, you're gonna see that it will affect these fonts as well. Okay, so I just chose this, this micro here. For some reason, it's not loading. So I'm just gonna hit save. Some of them are loading, some aren't. So I'm just gonna hit save and we'll figure it out from there. Sometimes it just needs a refresh. I'm doing a lot of changes and this is the shopping confirmation page. Boom, it made the change, it looks good. So that's how you change fonts, that's how you change colors. Really easy process once you figure out what the section is. Again, for me, I don't know why this one is the lightest one. So if I wanna make any changes to this, I'd go in here and then find the, the color here and make the adjustment. Let's go to the palette. You can see here, I could change this color to the button just like that. And then if I go to this site here, doesn't show me the color, but I figured out that it's currently light one. I thought it might be tied to, now this is just extra, so if you're done with the video, you're done with the video, but I thought it might be tied to the actual shop design. So if I go to the overall shop page here and I click edit, and then I click into this edit section, you could see here the color that's chosen is dark one, so it's different than light one. I thought it was because it was light one, but it wasn't. So I don't know exactly where they pull that from, but what I do know is that's how you change it. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's 
content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.